we will continue with the lesson on Kumar Sambhava Canto 5. We have now come to Shloka 12, the text of which runs like this Mahar Hashaya Parivartana Chitai Sakesha Pushpai Rapi Asma Duyate Ashetasa Bahulato Padhaini Nishedushi Sthandila Eva Kevale. In this verse, <coughs> the poet explains the new changes that Parvati brought into her life, in the life of austerities. The kernel sentence is, Sa Asheta, she began to sleep, so she slept, Asheta is she slept. Sa Asheta. Sthandile Eva. On the mere floor. Sthandile Eva. So, it is not accompanied by any kind of bedding or soft cloth, etc. So, to emphasize that, Kevale Sthandile Eva has been mentioned here. So, Nishedushi is lying down on the mere floor and she also had as her pillow the creeper-like arm of hers. Lata is creeper, Bahu is her arm. The creeper-like arm was itself made as a pillow. Making that as her pillow, she slept now. Earlier, that was not the case with her. She was extremely tender and delicate, <coughs> which is indicated by the fact that she used to be pained. Duyate Esma. She used to be pained. Ya Duyate Esma. Who used to be pained? Even by Pushpaihi, the flowers, which were fallen from her own hair. Swakesha Pushpaihi Api. And these flowers would fall down. Chutaihi. Fallen down. While she rolled, Parivartana is rolling on the bed, on Harshaya bed. Those beds were themselves very costly. So, highly valuable beds were hers. A princess that she was, she used to sleep on beds which were very soft and which were very costly, <coughs> specially prepared beds to suit her bodily condition. Her body was extremely delicate. The delicacy of the same is indicated in the first half of the verse, whereas 
the rigorous situation that obtains now is indicated in the second half of the verse. The analysis is like this. <coughs> Mahan Arhaha Yasyaha Sa Maharha This qualifies Shaya and therefore we have to take the Strilinga form that Maharha Chasau Shaya Cha This gives the form Maharha Shaya Tasyam is equal to Maharha Shaya Yam Parivartanani gives the form Maharha Shaya Parivartanani Tena Chitaihi Tena Maharha Shaya Parivartanena or because you use the form Parivartanani Tena Tabhyam Taihi can use the form Taihi here Taihi Chitani Maharha Shaya Parivartana Chitani Taihi gives Maharha Shaya Parivartana Chitaihi This whole expression qualifies Swakesha Pushpaihi So <coughs> we have used here Chitani because the word Pushpa is Navum Sakalinka. This is N33. Navum Sakalinka, Triti Ayvakti Bahochana. And therefore, we have here Chutani and Taihi. Then, Swakesha Pushpaihi. Swasya Keshaha. Swakeshaha. Swakesham Pushpaihi Swakesha Pushpaihi Api Ya Duyate Esma. So, even if flowers fallen from her own hair, she used to be pained. So, this is from the root Duyate is from the root Du. The Dhatu Bata is Tu Du Upatape. So here it is used in the intransitive sense. Ya duyate esma. She who used to be pained. The forms are. So this is prathamagana and apanepada. Bhuadi apanepada. The forms are duyate, duyate, duyante, duyese, duyate, duyadve, duye, duyavahe, duyamahe. So sa ya duyate esma. She who used to be pained by rolling on the um, by, by the flowers which were fallen from her own hair while she rolled on the um, costly bed. Now, self same Parvati now had to sleep on the mere floor. Sthandile eva kevale which means, so it shows that it was uncovered on the bare earth she had to sleep now. So, Nishedushi is sleeping on, this is from Ni plus root Sad, for which the present perfect participle form by the addition of the Kwasu Pratyaya. So, the, it is in the Strilinga form. So, the masculine form would be Nishedivan, Strilinga is Nishedushi, Strilinga Prasana Bhakti Ekochana form. Nishedushi refers to Sa. So, Sa nishedushi sthandile eva kevale. So nishedushi itself is the is acting as the verb here. Bahulato padhaini is to be analyzed as bahuhu lata eva. It is the uttara padavisheshana karmadharya samasa. So this gives the form bahulata. 
एंड ताम बाहुलताम उपधत्ते इति उपधायिनी इस उपधत्ते इस उपधायिनी सो कन्वर्टिंग दैट इटसेल्फ एस द पिलो यू हैव टू टेक द द अध्याहार ऑफ सती हियर सो बाहुलतो उपधायिनी सती सा केवले स्थंडले एवं निशेधुषी अशेता there is the saying of uh, yagyamalkya here he says swapyad bhumau shuchi ratrau divasam niyamair nayet sthanasana viharairva yoga abhyasena va yatha so this gives the the rigor of tapas that one needs to adhere to while performing tapas the word uh, maharha has the conversion of mahat into maha by the sutra on mahataha etc so where it is there is samana adhikarnya we find that mahat becomes maha <coughs> so this shloka describes another discipline that parvati resorted to on account of her penance we shall go to the next verse shloka number 13 we'll give the anvaya of the verse maharha shayya parivartana chutaihi swakesha pushpaihi api yaduyate sma sa kevale sthandile eva nishedushi bahulato padhayini asheta that is the anvaya of shloka 12 we shall now go to shloka number 13 uh, shloka number 12 now shloka number 13 punar grahitum निक्षेप इवार्पित लसा लतासु तन्वीशु विलासचेष्टितम् विलोलदृष्टम् this shloka speaks of the two deposits made by parvati in two things so the first half and the uh, second half indicate this पुनः गृहीतुम नियमस्थया तया द्वयेपि निक्षेप योर्पितम द्वयम सो द फॉर्म्स तया अर्पितम दीस टू वर्ड्स गिव द एसेंशियल कर्नल सेंटेंस तया अर्पितम कथम अर्पितम निक्षेप इव अर्पितम किम अर्पितम द्वयम कुत्र अर्पितम द्वये अर्पितम कीदृशिया तया नियमस्थया तया 
किमर्थम अर्पितम पुनः ग्रहीतुम अर्पितम तया रेफर्स टू बाई पार्वती तया बाई हर स्त्रीलिंग तृतीय विभक्ति एक वचना फॉर्म अर्पितम मीन्स डेपॉजिटेड द्वयम इज सेट ऑफ टू थिंग्स दीस वर निक्षेप इव अर्पितम सो अर्पितम लिटरली मीन्स प्लेस्ड निक्षेप इज डेपॉजिट एंड देर फॉर दी करेक्ट रेंडरिंग वुड बी एज ए डेपॉजिट एज ए डेपॉजिट दीस वर प्लेस्ड अर्पितम कैन बी बेटर रेंडर्ड बाय प्लेस्ड So it is as though they were placed as a deposit, as it were. Eva shows as it were. Taya by Parvati. Now the reason for the same is given in the expression niyamas taya taya. So niyama is austerity, same as tapas. Niyamas tha means one who was. See now. established in her austerities so in the course in the course of her austerities parvati has though deposited two things in two things so dwaye means in two things so in two places these were deposited but this is not something that is given away permanently and forever but these were to be taken back so grahit grahitum is taken back punaha again they were to be taken back again this refers to after her marriage punaha refers to after her marriage after her marriage she wants to receive the two things that she has deposited now so when a person goes on a long trip sometimes so he deposits some precious things with someone trustworthy and then receives them back so after the same fashion parvati has now deposited two things in two places which she will receive after some time after some particular achievement that he has to make the two things that were deposited by parvati are Number one, vilasa cheshtitam, and number two, vilola drishtam. Vilasa cheshtitam is her lovely actions. And vilola drishtam is her tremulous glances. The lovely actions of hers were placed in the creepers latasu the latas or tanvishu or the slender and the tremulous glances were deposited in the female deer harina is deer and angana is a female so harinangana su in the female deer or in the does now that parvati has taken to a life of discipline and austerities she had to refrain from two things no more were these two things required for her during her tapas the one is her graceful movements and graceful actions vilasa cheshtitam cheshtita can refer to any function and so her graceful movements or graceful actions were no more required what is required was a, a life of rigor and discipline and therefore she shed all her graceful movements 
which were very much required in the context of her life of enjoyment and were no more needed in this life of rigor and discipline. And similarly, the tremulous glances that are very becoming of a young woman given to a life of enjoyment were no more of any use to her here. They would only be a distraction and therefore the tremulous glances or the vilola drishtam that also she now did away with. She did not did away with these things permanently. On the other hand, she deposited them in the slender creepers, Tanvishu Latasu. So the word Tanvishu also has the implication of being very tender. So the slender creepers are also the tender creepers. So amidst them, she deposited her graceful movements. When a gentle wind blows, we see how the, the creepers, they also waft in a very gentle manner. And therefore, these creepers now had the deposit of Parvati's graceful actions, which amounts to saying that, consequent to or subsequent to her commencement of austerities, the creepers in the surroundings, they became even more slender and tender and even more graceful in their movement. And secondly, her own glances which were very tremulous, so they were deposited in the, in the female deer, in the, in the doors that were nearby, so Harinanganasu, there they were deposited. The tremulous glances are very natural for a young woman and now they have been deposited amidst the doors. You can see that the Vilasa Cheshtita is the original nature of Tanvi Latas or slender creepers and similarly the Haranangana's or the female deer also have Vilola Drishta naturally. Now these two are given usually as comparisons for Vilasa Cheshtita and see Vilola Drishta. However, there is a reversal here. So, the Harinanganas have now Vilola Drishta enhanced on account of the deposit made by Parvati and similarly the Tanvi Latas have the Vilasa Cheshtita uh, further engendered by this deposit of Parvati. The young deer have um, the Vilola Drishta also primarily because the deer is a very pusillanimous animal. The deer have do not have claws and horns which can uh, be excellent defense mechanisms and therefore they have very quick glances that they can make in order to escape from difficulties and similarly the, the tender creepers are also famed for their graceful movements when the wind blows on them. Now there is a reverse, reversal here in this verse so where these two things are said to have been deposited by Parvati respectively in those two things and the adjective that, that serves as a cause that indicates the cause for this action of Parvati is given in the expression Niyamasthaya Taya. So Parvati was Niyamastha and therefore she <coughs> had to do these things. The dissolution of Niyamastha is Niyame Tishthati Iti Niyamastha. Uh. Taya. So the, the sentence is in the passive voice, and therefore Niyamasthaya is F31 as Taya itself is F31. So Niyamasthaya Taya by her who was see deeply deep into the austerities, <coughs> this was done. And Grahitum is from root Grah. Though the present tense form would be Grinhati, you must note that here we have Grahitum and not Grihitum. So Punaha Grihitum, Punaha is in indeclinable, it is in Avyaya. Puna Grahitum is also in Avyaya. It is called Tumunnanta Avyaya because 
it is root grihu plus the suffix being tumun, it is called tumun nantavyaya. Niyamasthaya taya dvayepi nikshepa yuvarpitam dvayam. We have used the word dvaya twice here, one in the locative case, so this is 7.1 and this is 1.1. Nominative singular and locative singular forms. The dissolution for this is dvau avayavau asya, referring to the samudaya asya. So, it refers to a set of two places. So, this can yield two forms, namely dvaya or equally dvitaya. The two have the same sense. And here we have the word dvaya used twice here, dvaye pi and dvayam. So, these two have been deposited here. Latasu tanveshu vilasa cheshtitam. So, the dissolution for this is Vilasaihi Cheshtitam Vilas Cheshtitam. Now, as the shloka is in the passive voice, this Vilas Cheshtitam is in Pratama Evikti Ekochana, therefore, this is Nahum Skalinga, Pratama Evikti Ekochana, and even so, the word Vilola Drishtam also in Nahum Skalinga, Pratama Evikti Ekochana. So, Vilolancha. Tatu Drishtancha is the dissolution of this. So, Harinanam Anganaha. Harinanganaha. Tasu Harinanganasu. So, Tanvi is Srilinga, so because it qualifies Lata, so we have Tanvishu is F73, Srilinga, Sutanya Bhakti Ekochana, qualifying Lata. So the adjective, adjective form can be either Tanu or Tanvi. We have the usage of the word Tanvi here. In masculine, the adjective form would be Tanuhu. And in, in, in the feminine form, it is tanuhu or tanvi. And in the neuter form, it would be tanu in the nominative singular forms. So, tanvi shulatasu vilasa cheshtitam arpitam. Harinanganasu vilola drishtam arpitam. And the arpana here is as a nikshepa. So, a nikshepa is something which is made as a deposit only to be collected back later. And this is expressly mentioned here in the beginning expressions punaha grahitum. In other words, after the performance of the tapas and after the attainment of the fruit of the tapas, Parvati once again assumed her vilasa jeshtitas and her vilola drishtas. This can be seen in the description of the events of Parvati's vivaha and thereafter in the further cantos of Kumar Sambhum where she marries Lord Shiva. In that context, you can see that these, these two things were received back by Parvati. So, whereas Tanvi Lata and Harinangana are given as Upamanas for Vilasa Cheshtita and Vilola Drishta, here there is a reversal that has been made and this shows the extraordinary beauty of Parvati. So, which means that the Vilasa Cheshtita of Parvati by far surpasses the Tanvi Rathas and similarly the Vilola Drishta of Parvati by far surpasses the that of see, Harnanganas. We can now go to the next verse. Shloka 14. Atandrita sa
സ്വയമേവ വൃക്ഷകാൻ ഘടസ്തന പ്രസ്രവണൈർ വ്യവർധയത് ഗുഹോപിയേഷാം പ്രഥമാപ്തജന്മനാം ന പുത്രവാത്സല്യം അപാകരിഷ്യതി അതന്ദ്രിതാസ്വയമേവ വൃക്ഷകാൻ ഘടസ്തന പ്രസ്രവണൈർവ്യവർധയത് ഗുഹോപിയേഷാം പ്രഥമാപ്തജന്മനാം ന പുത്രവാത്സല്യം അപാകരിഷ്യതി ഇൻ ദിസ് വേഴ്സ് ദി ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് പാർവതി ആസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ഹെർ തപേഴ്സ് ഈസ് മെൻഷൻഡ് ഷീ ബിഗാൻ ടു grow the small trees there in the ashrama and she did it very lovingly so intense was her love that even guhar subramanya who was born later was not able to reduce or nullify the kind of love that parvati cherished towards these plants and trees sa വ്യവർധയത് നാം ഷീ ബ്രോട്ടപ് സാർഫസ് ടു ഷീ ദ ഇസ് പാർവതി ഷീ ബ്രോട്ടപ് വ്യവർധയത് ബ്രോട്ടപ് വാട്ട് വൃക്ഷകാൻ വ്യവർധയത് വൃക്ഷക ഇസ് ദി സ്മോൾ ട്രീസ് ഓർ ദി യങ് പ്ലാന്റ്സ് വൃക്ഷകാൻ സാ വ്യവർധയത് ന ദിസ് ഷീ ഡിഡ് ബൈ ഹർ സെൽഫ് സ്വയമേവ സോ ഓൺ ഹർ ഓൺ ബൈ ഹർ സെൽഫ് ആൻഡ് ഷീ ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് ഫീൽ എനി സെൻസ് ഓഫ് ബീങ് ടയർഡ് തന്ദ്ര ഇൻ ഇൻ സാൻസ്ക്രിറ്റ് ഷോസ് എ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ലാക്ക് ഓഫ് വിജിലൻസ് and atandrita means vigilantly so without slothfulness now she brought up the plants of the hermitage by the prasravanai by the pourings by the breast like jars ghatastana prasravanai so intense was this tending to the plants that afterwards that is after the consummation of tapas and after marrying shiva and after the birth of subramanya called guha guha means subramanya the lord subramanya so the love of parvati for subramanya is also very well known and even he guha api so api has the force of even even guha was not able to wipe out so apakarishyati means wipes out does away with 
this is to be taken with na so na apakarishyati so cannot wipe out so even he would not be able to wipe out wipe out what vatsalyam is affection due to a son putra vatsalyam guha was the real son so putra vatsalyam is the affection towards the son now the word vrikshaka also is masculine and therefore this can also be considered as his sort of putra and parvati had putra vatsalya even towards the vrikshakas and do guha was also a putra now this putra was not able to do away with or wipe out the putra vatsalya regarding the vrikshakas in the hermitage this is the meaning of the words here <clears throat> now parvati was a princess and she could easily have commanded servants to do this job if at all she wanted to do the very choice of the place of hermitage is one where trees naturally abound and here as a part of a discipline of her tapas she brought up many trees there so she tended with care many plants in the hermitage so tapas does not mean doing it all the 24 hours of a day but on the other hand there are hours when she can change her work so when she requires some rest from tapas so which involves the states of pratyahara dharana and dhyana etc so this cannot be done continuously all the time and therefore there are certain intervals where she has to attend to certain other duties also and in such context parvati did this job of bringing up plants and trees in the hermitage now as a princess she could have commanded many servants of hers to do this but on the other hand she had come here come to the hermitage only with two friends and as described in the shaiva puranas the names of the two friends of parvati are jaya and vijaya it is with those two that parvati had come to the hermitage and therefore she would not ask even her own friends to take up this job for her sake as she was herself extremely delicate probably tenderer than the two friends jaya and vijaya but on the other hand as she had to undergo the discipline by herself all by herself so she took up the task on her own and she did the task by herself therefore without taking any help from others she did this and secondly sometimes we tend to do certain things that we are bound to do somewhat grumblingly or grudgingly but on the other hand parvati did her job very lovingly and there was an element of vigilance in her actions so tandra is the state of slothfulness so when a person feels sleepy as it were so without being slothful in her activities so with utmost diligence parvati did the task of tending the plants and trees in the hermitage atandrita sa swayameva vrikshakan vyavardhayate that she did this did this job very very lovingly is brought out by a metaphorical expression here namely ghatastana prasravanaihi prasravana is pouring so by means of her breast like jars so it is as though she was feeding her own kids so that she was pouring the see water to the the plants there the jars that she held in her hand were verily resembled her own breast and it is as though she was feeding her own breast feeding her own kids that parvati poured water to the plants there and therefore this shows how she did this job with utmost love and therefore her action of attending to the plants in the hermitage was marked by utter lack of you see slothfulness and utter love so with imm- with immense love she did this task and therefore the the love for the trees and plants in the hermitage in the 
by pa of parvati is indicated here in the first half of the verse in the second half of the verse how the intensity of her love towards the plants continued is indicated now it is only after the marriage that guha or subramanya was born and even guha could not undo the putra vatsalya that she had for the vrikshakas there the plants there so apakaroti means wipe out or see reduce in intensity or to do away with so even he could not nullify or do away with the kind of putra vatsalya that she had for the vrikshakas or the plants there in the hermitage so vrikshakan is qualified by one expression here namely prathamapta janmanam vrikshakan uh, uh, it is not um, qualified by but linked so the um, prathamapta janmanam qualifies yesham where yat refers to the vrikshakas and prathamapta janman means those who had their birth janman is birth apta means obtained prathama is earlier so the vrikshakas had their birth earlier compared to guha therefore <coughs> they are the first first fruits or the first <coughs> offsprings of parvati and the love towards the first offspring is generally more intense and therefore even guha would not be able to um, do away with this kind of love now the the kind of the kind or quality of the two kids the vrikshakas and guha is qualitatively different you can see that the that guha is the person who is born as they say in english born of the flesh of the flesh and the bone of the bone or as it is said in the uh, mantras angad angad sambhavasi so it is such a type of birth of guha whereas the vrikshakas are totally exterior and yet guha was not able to lessen the intensity of love for the the trees and plants of parvati there now you can look into some some of the grammatical issues here <clears throat> the word tandri atandrita is to be analyzed like this tandra asyaha asti gives the form tandrita it takes the itach suffix and tandrita na bhavati iti atandrita sa swayameva so it is without taking the help of others and so her, her friends or the servants the word vrikshaka is analyzed as alpaha vrikshaha vrikshakaha refers to the the young trees there vyavardhayat is from v plus uh, plus ava or two um prefixes here i'm sorry um v plus root vrdh plus nich form the root vrdh has its normal forms as it is prathamagana atmane we have the forms vardhate vardhete vardhante with the addition of nich or the causal suffix we have the forms vardhayati vardhayataha vardhayanti and the lung form of this is avardhayat questions form so this is lung prathama purusha ek vachana so sa vyavardhayati she brought up by means of the pourings of water from her 
ಘಟಸ್ಥನ ಪ್ರಸರವಣೆ ಟು ಬಿ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ದಸ್ ಘಟ ಸ್ತನ ಘಟಸ್ಥನ ತ್ರವಣ ಘಟಸ್ಥನ ಪ್ರಸರವಣ ತೈಹಿ ವಿವರ್ಧಯತ್ ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಭಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಬಹುವಚನ ಸೊ ದಿ ಎನ್ ತ್ರಿ ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಮಾತೃತ್ವ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಸೊ ಘಟಸ್ಥನ ಪ್ರಸರವಣ ವ್ಯವರ್ಧಯತ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಗುಹಾ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅಮರಕೋಶ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಗಿವನ್ ದಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಸಿನಿಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಗಿವನ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೇನಾನೀರ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಭೂರ್ ಗೃಹ ಸೊ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ನೇಮ್ ಗುಹ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಗುಹ ಅಪಿ ಯಾಂ ಪ್ರಥಮಾಪ್ತ ಜನ್ಮ ದಿ ಡಿಸೂಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಆಪ್ತ ಜನ್ಮ ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಪ್ರಥಮಾಪ್ತ ಜನ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ತೋ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಬಹುಚನ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ವೃಕ್ಷಕಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಸಿರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ವರ್ಡ್ ವೃಕ್ಷಕಾನ್ ಸೊ ವೃಕ್ಷಕಾನ್ ವಿವರ್ಧಯತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಬಹುವಚನ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಸಾ ವೃಕ್ಷಕಾನ್ ವಿವರ್ಧಯತ್ ಯಾಂ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ವೃಕ್ಷಕಾಂ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಥಮಾಪ್ತ ಜನ್ಮ ವೃಕ್ಷಕಾಂ ವಿಷಯ ಸೊ ಗುಹ ಅಪಿ ಪುತ್ರವಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯ ಸೊ ಪುತ್ರ ವಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯ ಪುತ್ರ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪುತ್ರ ಸಂಬಂಧಿ ವಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯ ಪುತ್ರವಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯ ಸೊ ಪುತ್ರವಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಫ್ ಅಪಾಕರಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಭಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ so she was not able to do away with uh, guha was not able to reduce the uh, intensity of love for the rikshakas apakarishiti is from apa plus a is a two suffixes here this root kr the the form being dukrin karane uh, the dhatu patha which is given as dukrin karane and this is the ring form uh, sorry lit form of lit pratham purusha ekvachana form karishyati karishyatah karishyanti root kri is ubhayapadi as indicated by the uh, anubandha yu here so we can have the forms karishyati karishyatah karishyanti as well as karishyate karishyate karishyante so putra vatsalyam na apa karishyati so putrasya vatsalyam or ಪುತ್ರೆ ವಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯ ಸೊ ದೇವ್ಯ ಪುತ್ರ ವಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯ ನ ಅಪಾಕರ್ಷಿತಿ ಹಿ ವುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಎ ವೇ ವಿತ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ದಿ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ವಾರ್ಥ ಅಲ್ಪಾರ್ಥ ಹ್ರಸ್ವಾರ್ಥ ಕುತ್ಸಾರ್ಥ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಂಜ್ಞ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನುಕಂಪ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಲಕ ತೈಲ ತೈಲಕ ಶರೀರ ಶರೀರಕ ಶೂದ್ರ ಶೂದ್ರಕ ಪುತ್ರ ಪುತ್ರಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವೇ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಹರೋನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ದಾಸ ತಪಸ್ವಿನ ಸೊ ದಿ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ he try to command servants to get their own job done on the other hand they are themselves their own 
servants and they to they do their tasks on their own without seeking help from others <coughs> there is a parallel idea in kalidasa's kumar sambhava in in raghuvamsha <coughs> where the devadaru tree is being protected there he says amum pura pashyase devadarum putri krito so vrishabhadhvajena यो हेम कुंभस्तन निश्रिता स्कंदस्य मातु पयसा रसज्ञ सो देर आलो ए सिमिलर ऐडिया वेर दि ट्रीज आर् बी अडाप्टेड एज वन ऑन किड्स ईज इंडिकेटेड सो इन कालिदास शाकुंतला सो वी हेव रेफरेन्स टू वाट आर नोन एज पुत्र कृतक सो देर इट इज अप्लाइड टू ए डीर एंड देर फोर दि दिस् कैंड ऑफ flow of affection and love towards plants and animals is also quite a part of tapas and this is indicated here so parvati would attend to the tending of plants so in these days of uh, ecological disasters we can see the importance given to the tending of plants and trees even in days when there was no need for such things and uh, this shows the the kind of concern that indians had for towards see plants and trees i can now pass on to the next verse shloka number 15 aranya bijanjali dana lalitah तथा चाम हरिणा विशस्वसु यदीय नयन कुतूहला पुरस्खीनामीतलोचने Uh, we will take up the uh, meaning of and explanation of this verse in the next session